just makes stuff a lot easier to learn. Instead of being getting like D's and E's, I'm getting like C's and B's. The relationship between all the students and the teachers. We get to know our teachers and our classmates mm -hmm. better, so that makes school kind of nicer. This is a really happy, positive start. Yeah. I'm, I'm very much for the belief that you need to talk about what you yeah. can do, yeah. not what you can't do. Welcome to Thank you. College. Yeah, it'll be That's great to visit the school, see what, you, what really you'll excited. be up to. Yeah, good. So Thank come you. in. All right. In 2006, when I arrived, the school was slated for closure. The numbers had declined. The results weren't um, of a high standard. The government had decided that this school would no longer exist. The staff felt very strongly that we wanted to turn that around. We wanted to stay open. That was our opportunity to change. Yeah. And that was our opportunity to reinvent ourselves. What I stand for and what, how I went about that, for me it's all about the heart. If I can get all my teachers on the same page, if we can all agree on the quality or the excellence in the teaching, and then if we can make that about everything we do about that, if I can engage the heart, the head will follow it. In turn, we wanted all our students to have an opportunity to be the best they could be. First of all, we knew that was what we wanted to focus on. Okay, in terms of excellence, we decided it was excellence in the classroom. It was excellence in pedagogy. Well, this year we've got an excellent teacher, Jill, who lets us experiment and create. So, for example, with the hats, I made two hats from recycled paper. One girl made a paper bag dress. We also decided that everywhere you went, we would have things like, you see the word excellence yeah. there. Mm -hmm. We wanted those values to underpin everything we do. Okay, so yeah. we put things like this up everywhere. Yeah. As well as excellence, opportunity and community, Dixon College is committed to providing a supportive, innovative and educationally enriched learning environment. We started with the framework around the quality teaching model. That was just a framework for us. We made it our own journey. Well, we used the quality teaching model which was a big push by the ACT government mm -hmm. and they wanted to put it into all schools. And I went along to a, a, an initial PD with Beth and she said, I think you could really take this and run with it in the school. My view is that principals have always had autonomy, they just haven't um, been empowered to, to take some risks and, and make some decisions that are going to impact. Particular areas in the school that they want to develop, even changing the staff profile, has always been possible. Talking about autonomy has at least given people a chance to, to think about what are the things they need to do that they probably haven't already been doing. The most liberating thing for me was one, having Jim come in, and Jim yeah. gave me permission to be my own boss and, and told me not to worry about accountability. Mm -hmm. He told us about the skinny you've changed, which is your stuff. And I, as a new principal, went to a meeting with my school plan. Mine was two pages with just two things on it. Yeah. Everyone else had 27 pages. <laughs> and I yeah. felt really guilty yeah. until I read your stuff and until Jim said, don't be silly. And now I love skinny plans because yeah. I can do them. The next thing we decided to do was look at people's assignments because we thought that would be less threatening than actually going into people's classrooms. Yeah. So we looked at people's assignments in terms of the clarity. We were able to see very clearly, hey, this doesn't make sense, it's not clear, it could really be improved. So what we tried to really unpack there was what it was that the teachers actually wanted and were looking for, and we wanted to make it accessible to everyone. We just wanted to open up the classroom, we wanted to make everyone share, we wanted to have feedback, there's no um, competitiveness yeah, yeah. in the in the leadership group, which yeah. is probably the first time I've come across such a, you know, an equal leadership group where we just kind of think mm -hmm. how we can help each other and how we can make it better for the kids. This school is amazing because if you have an idea, yeah. uh, like an innovative idea, mm -hmm. and you can support it, you get the support to run with it and, yeah. and try it out. Daniel was in the quality teaching team, and okay. he actually in his what second year of teaching. Um, shared his lesson planning and filmed his lessons and shared that with the staff. Then we also gave them a checklist of things to do to make sure like in your introduction do you cover these topics so you are being explicit in your in the body of your speech and so the kids can go through their list and the checklist and say okay have I done this yes 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 yes. People don't always like change but when they could see that it was something which was practical and which was going to work for them and which was going to improve things for their students and people got on board with a really good grace. Yeah. Oh it's fun, they're, yeah. they're a good class. Yeah. Look busy! 
<laughs> One of the best things about the, uh, the school is Beth. Yeah. Because you go to her with a crazy idea. Yeah. And I go to Beth and I say, hey, why don't we do this? She's great. Yeah. I've never heard that woman say no. Mm. I try and model that with my staff, that when they come to me with ideas, mm. yeah. yeah, sure, let's, let's talk about how we can do that. One thing I try to do, and it's just a simple thing, is when there's a teacher sick, if I'm free and I don't have a uh, meeting or something, I'll take the class as, and uh, I get to know as many students as I can. Well, the other day I had to take the woodwork class, which is a bit frightening. And the thing is, I now have a relationship with some of those boys because they were showing me the puzzles that they made out of wood. That gave them real confidence and so now when I go up to talk to them about something that they're not doing right, I'm already their friend mm -hmm. and they know that they're better than me at puzzles, but there's a sort of mutual respect and understanding. Yeah. So it's quite good. You were just in the world, what was it? The world, world Skills yeah. competition. A competition. Yeah. It was an auto for mechanics and stuff. Mm -hmm. We had to do a full inspection over a car, so they gave us some set tasks to do. There was an electrical task. And it was like a time thing, like an Olympics. Yeah, we got yeah. an hour for each task. And you have a teacher helping you? No, no it was, was on your own. That was on our yeah. own, yeah. yeah. I find out at the end of this month. Yeah, yeah. Went, so you don't know yet? No, yeah. not yet. Yeah. This is yeah. an original school from the 1960s and what we wanted to do was transform a school with artwork, paint, yeah. I mean it, it's cheap things we've yeah. done. Inventing your vision, so yeah. their, their vision with their yeah. own colour right. and loving your space, yeah. the kids and the teachers all respond. Yeah. 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 So, this is Michael Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And Louis, I think, is a very talented student. But he's also um, wants to be an architect. I'll probably head off to Europe and maybe maybe America and Canada. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's proud of, of everything yeah. that he is and he wants to help yeah. anyone else yeah. to also achieve to be the yeah. best young person they can be. I did a big survey across school, across all students, and, yeah. and we found that 90% students felt as happy here as they do at home. We found that we have still got kids who are having problems with literacy and numeracy, and that's also tied into depression and how you know kids who are really marginalised in school have the low literacy and low numeracy. And, it's better if we can all get them functioning together. The beauty of our approach, and like I said, is about the heart and the head will follow. The data comes, the mm -hmm. literacy and numeracy comes if the heart's engaged. Mm -hmm. We have an AST, it's like an yeah. SAT. And we do practices and trials for our AST. And, and part of it is a writing task. Mm -hmm. And I've got an English teaching background. So I tell the students that I personally will mark all of those drafts and I get kids to come and talk to me about how they can do better but I think they feel a certain sense of wow our principals marking our practice she really cares about how well our school does so I'm going to try that a little bit harder. My ATAR tertiary entrance rank has yeah. gone up from the 70s to the mid 80s. We just don't want to get complacent. Now, now our thing is, is how can we keep getting better? What mm -hmm. else can we do? Mm -hmm. It's been a really exciting journey sort of from let's say 2008 through to 2011 and as a community we dreamed the best that we could be. I feel incredibly lucky to be a principal of a school where staff morale is high, where students are successful and happy. Well, you're doing a great job. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm really glad you came to yeah. visit us because yeah. we feel yeah. lucky that we get to meet you and mm -hmm. that you take the time to come into our schools. What I love about your work is that it's grounded in things that we can do. And the, the phrases and the catchphrases, if you like, that I take out of it like practice driving practice or moral imperative. They work for me and each time I read about it, I get another level to it and I can apply it. So it's taking um, the same basic ingredients but making your own recipe to suit your environment. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, experiment, you know, to say, I'm thinking of trying this, is that too crazy? Uh, and no one has ever said to me, it's too crazy.